actually, we're going to have to deviate a little bit from our plan because what I heard was everything that I had planned to perform up so that we can all see. But I'm just going to change that a bit. Who performed division for each of the groups? OK, so there we go. Can I borrow yours, Geraldine? OK, so this is Geraldine's work. Okay. And as you can see, she used division. She used division in order to show the inequality of the distribution of the subs. Okay, and we see that each of these decimals represent a number greater than one or less than one? Less, less than, than one. one. How do you know? Because there is a decimal. A decimal is a part of a whole number. What if I told you one and five tenths is also a decimal? How is one and five? How does one and five tenths compare to one? Is that greater than one or less than one? Greater. Then how can we revise that explanation? We have to be precise. Are all decimals less than one? No. no. Ernesto, what do you think? Um, are all decimals less than one? No. Which decimals are less than one? Um, the decimals, the decimals right? that, ha that have no whole number of, on the ones place. OK, very good. I like that response. Anyone else can phrase it differently? Kaylise? The, um, the decimals between 0 and 1. All decimals between the whole numbers of 0 and 1. Anything above 1 is going to be greater than 1. Excellent.